Configuring the actual build flow in CodeKit is super easy. Zero JSON files involved. Here I have a project named Server, and these are the actual server error pages that show up in CodeKit when you have an external server like MAMP misconfigured. They're kit files, and they compile to HTML, which is then included in CodeKit's application bundle. But there's something a little special about this project. Let's take a look. I'm just going to build it right here. And I see that it failed. And let's take a look at why. I'm going to select a kit file, and it tells me, you're attempting to import a file that does not exist, build styles style.css. Well, that file doesn't exist yet, but it does down here, right, when my SAS style sheet compiles. The problem is that I need to tell CodeKit to compile this SAS style sheet first, and then go do all of the kit stuff. By default, CodeKit processes files in a random order because it's more performant. Well, that's easy to do. I'm going to jump into the build flow, hit the plus button, add process file step. I can rename it if I'd like, but right now I'll just add items. And then I'll select the files that I want to process in this step. And now CodeKit will process my SAS and then go and do everything else. Let's take a look. I'm just going to jump in here and delete the build folder that we created in that last compile. And now I'll build the project. And sure enough, everything comes through exactly as it should. The second type of step I can add to CodeKit's build flow is a run script step. When I do, I get a code editor, and I can tell CodeKit whether it's a shell script or an Apple script that it's running. Here, for example, I might have installed some Bower components in my project, and Bower creates that special bower.json file in my project root folder. Well, if I wanted to, I could have Bower reinstall all the components that are required by my project. Assuming Bower is installed on my Mac via NPM, I would just write Bower install. Now, Note that I'm not doing any CDs. I'm not worrying about changing into the directory where server is. That's all set for me. CodeKit sets the current working directory to the project root folder before it runs each step. Another common thing people want to do is an automatic deployment after the build process completes. Well, I can do that just by adding a run script step and then dragging it down to the bottom of the list here. And maybe this time I'll use Apple script and I'll write something like tell application transmit, right, Panix FTP application to sync a various project or upload to a certain server. You can look at transmit's Apple script dictionary for the commands to use. But right here, you can control other applications in your build flow in CodeKit.